Weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen. Our view from Timo Skycam up on Edom Hill showing plenty of blue sky, but also still some clouds hanging around, especially over the mountains. We had those thunderstorms fire up this afternoon across the high desert, our local mountains. But overall, today was still drier when we're talking about the humidity was still humid, but it was a little bit drier and it allowed our temperatures to warm up even more. 110 degrees recorded this afternoon in Palm Springs as well as in thermal. 109 is the average for the date. So yes, we're feeling really exactly like we would expect to feel for July. Through the rest of this evening, we're still going to be seeing those clouds uh, pass overhead. Humidity still going to be a little elevated, not ideal, but temperatures gradually taking their time to cool down below the century mark around the 9 p.m. hour. We are also going to be experiencing a northwest breeze just about 10 miles per hour. So we are under the influence of this ridge of high pressure along with the rest of the western United States. So expect more of the same as we head into tomorrow. Our temperatures are on the rise. Tomorrow is actually looking to be the hottest day of the week, but we're still going to be keeping the humidity. We're still dealing with a bit of that southeasterly flow, and so we're still going to be tracking monsoonal thunderstorms across parts of Southern California. Now, this is a loop looking back at what's happened over the past three hours. Again, we did have those flash flood warnings for the high desert. No longer the case. We're watching all of that move from the south up to the north, and so right now just monitoring a few showers over our local mountains. However, moving into tomorrow, we're going to be doing it all over again. We'll start off with some sunshine, increasing clouds as we head through the day, then going to be watching isolated showers and storms pop up over the mountains as well as the high desert in the afternoon. However, as we head through the evening into the night, we're going to be watching more of that moisture move in from the southeast. That's where the increasing cloud cover comes in. And this is going to be following us as we head into our Friday. Friday going to be giving us a better opportunity for more of that accumulation actually happening right here on the valley floor. Continues throughout the day on Friday and potentially even into our Saturday. So how much rain are we talking? Still to be decided for exact amounts, but generally speaking, with those thunderstorms capable of producing heavy rain, we are looking for the potential to see up to another quarter of an inch here on the valley floor. Certainly going to be monitoring that closely, but really those amounts only occurring where the thunderstorms develop. Temperatures going to be cooling down for Friday and Saturday. Warmer, drier conditions. John and Karen on our Comfort Air 7 day forecast into next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, we like drier. Yes. Warmer <laughs> and drier would be better. Thank you, Haley. Reduce